Okay, um, let's just get this out of the way. I'm just gonna show you all, okay? Just because I don't want y'all to think this is clickbait. It's, it's real. Hair at the middle of my head, boom. Hair right next to it, boom. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, what's up? Welcome back to another episode. Um, no, uh, first things first, what is that on your lips? Ah, you better stop, stop! Disgusting. Please just ignore that. I don't know what's on my lips, guys. <laughs> wow. My name is Will, glad to have you. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. My hair's looking a little bit crazy in love right now because I'm in the middle of doing it, just deep conditioned, rinse that out. Now I'm like, mm, I don't know, I'm figuring it out. But the other day I did something, or rather let's say I discovered something. And it's all sort of led to the situation that's on my head right now. Like <laughs> three inches here, seven inches. It's just, there's a discrepancy. I cut my hair off, okay? I cut it off. I just wanna talk about for a second what it means to retain length. The way you retain length is by making sure that your hair's not breaking off at the ends. Yep, these little fragile babies right here, if they break off, basically you're not gonna retain any length. Theoretically, your hair is always growing out of your scalp, right? Okay, great. But because of that and how slow hair actually grows, the ends of your hair end up being the oldest part of your hair, which is why you need to give them some tender loving care. So let's go ahead and just, ooh, oh gosh. <laughs> Did I get that on my shirt? Oh my God, no. <laughs> no. Oh my God, the things I do for a shot in comedy. Anyway, the moral of the story is that the ends of your hair require the most care. So if you're out here like, I don't care, I love it, I don't care. <laughs> and you let your ends get dry, brittle. There are a ton of ways that your hair actually splits. I'll just put a little graphic up on the screen right now. You have to train your eye to look for these things, okay? Because if you do not treat them, meaning snip them, Cut them. If you don't cut those joints, they're gonna come back to bite you in the butt, okay? They're gonna fall out. Your hair strand will fall out. If it's splitting at the ends, it'll just split all the way up to the root and literally fall out of your follicle. And then you basically are not retaining any length that way. That's how your hair becomes thin and just not cute. Besides literally looking at your hair and seeing all the split ends, you can also sort of like feel it, okay? So if you just, you know, feel around, okay? You'll feel literally the roughness and the poofiness that comes with split ends. Once you feel those signs, then it's probably time Time to nip it in the bud. Bring out the scissors. Bring out the emotional mm, sturdiness, okay? The strength to go ahead and just cut it off. A lot of people are so obsessed with retaining length that they will not get rid of the split ends. Getting rid of split ends sort of means cutting off some of the length. I don't make the rules, that's just how it is. I'm telling you how it is. A lot of you ask me, Will, how often do you trim your hair? I trim my hair just about once a year, but this year, some. Something different happened. The last time I trimmed my hair was maybe back in November of last year of 2017. What year is it? <laughs> it could be 1998 for all I know. I, I just don't know. But I trimmed my hair maybe four or five months ago. A cute little brushing up of the ends, right? I just snipped, snipped, snipped. snipped. But what I should have did was cut, cut, cut and cut. cut. Also, disclaimer, this video. Uh, okay, I have my retainer in. <laughs> this video was filmed like two months ago, so um, I've done some trimming since then. Call me sister happy if you want, but my hair has never felt nor looked better. I was trying to be cute with it. Not to retain length, but because that's generally what I've always been doing. Snipping, snipping, snipping. But sometimes you need to cut maybe a little bit more than that. Now my tip before I go ahead and tell you what actually happened on my head is to not be delusional. Don't go around here thinking that your hair is just mighty dandy and fine. All length isn't good length. Get rid of those split ends. Get rid of them. Now on to my little situation, okay? It's not a little situation. It's a big situation. Let me see if I can take this back out. Oh my goodness gracious. So here's my process for trimming my hair, right? I'll go ahead and twist my hair up much like this, okay? I'll twist it up and then I'll go ahead and take the ends and I'll cut like maybe a half an inch off. Simple. It's easy. It's been working for me for mm, three plus years now and so I've just been, you know, sticking with that routine. I always felt like I had an issue with the hair at the back of my head because I feel like maybe I just wasn't paying as much attention to it because I couldn't see it, you know? I wasn't deep conditioning it thoroughly enough. I don't know. I always thought maybe there was excess breakage back there for whatever reason, right? But then I got a diva cut, okay? And I feel like that was just transformative in my spirit but also physically for my hair. The hair at the back of my head wasn't breaking off so easily and it was just like thick as the rest of my hair. It was thick up. And I'm gonna go ahead and credit that to the fact that it really did get rid of a lot of split ends that I knew were back there, but I couldn't really see. It's sort of difficult to take care of the hair back there. That diva cut taught me a lesson. No matter what, take care of all the hair on your head. Like make sure that you're trimming, deep conditioning, moisturizing, all of that thoroughly, all up in the dome. So I've been doing fine ever since. And I feel like I've been taking really good care of my hair. 
but uh, there was this one section of my hair that I thought was just whack. Wasn't doing too well, okay? And it's literally this one tuft of hair right here. So the hair at the back of my head, I can go sort of like this. I can extend my full arm, right? This is sort of an awkward angle. Like, what am I doing right now? But with this tuft of hair, Girl, I'm lucky if I get a 45 degree angle in this elbow. That's because I cut it. The other day I woke up and I was like, I'm gonna do some twists. And so I did some twists, okay? Not the dance, the hairstyle. And as I was doing these twists, I came to this section at the top of my head and I was like, oh my God. The end of the twist was super thin compared to the top of the twist, which that usually just means that you are experiencing like some breakage, okay? The ends of your hair are literally breaking off. So all this time in that one small section of my hair, my ends were breaking free like they were Zach and Vanessa in High School Musical and they were just falling off. And I went through the stages of shock, horror, <laughs> sadness. But then I came to terms with it. I said, well, split ends are like fake friends. Cut them off because they'll lead to nothing but just dismay. So I grabbed my scissors and I put my fingers through them and I cut, I cut like so much of my hair. Because when I thoroughly took a look at it, the split ends were just running rampant. They were everywhere, okay? All up in that section. And so what I did was I nipped it in the bud. In the long run, it'll pay off for me. I understand that like now my hair is looking like a set of stairs, okay? Just, but it's okay because I rarely wear my hair out anyway. So it's like, whatever. I'm gonna continue moisturizing, nipping these split ends in the bud, deep conditioning and protective styling. That's what I do. That's what I do all day, every day. So yes, I had to come up here and come clean like Hilary Duff in Metamorphosis, the best album on earth. Uh, that is not correct. Okay, maybe not the best, but like it was really good, like. <laughs> Oh my God, I am so sorry that y'all had to witness that. Because I wasn't scrutinizing all of my hair, I let those split ends get to a point where I just had to like cut them off because if I didn't, that hair would probably be gone. You know what I mean? That's a lot of bees in one sentence. Probably, probably be, be gone, gone, okay? But cut off two and a half, three inches or bald spot. Like I don't, so it is what it is. Yes, I have a fro that's built like stairs, but whatever, it's gonna get better. So I just wanted to come up here and let you all know that yes, it is very important to get rid of split ends. They don't play games. They will come back to bite you, okay? See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. Keep taking care of business, okay? Learn from my mistakes and do what's right for your hair. You know, thank God this isn't happening on every continent on this, you know, planet of a head. But listen, for real, take my words of advice. Don't let it happen to you anywhere. Okay, everybody, that is the end of another episode of Will on a Whim. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all learned something. I really hope you all learned something. Don't go around here looking like Britney after the breakdown, even though we should not make a mockery of celebrity breakdowns. We just shouldn't, okay? I'm sorry for all those jokes about Britney. I really am. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And if you wanna stick around and be my friend and be my homie, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'll see all of you back here real soon for another episode of, hold up, hold up. I'll see all of you back here real soon for another episode of Will on a Whim, but until then, bye.